This is a Lego Star Wars mock. This is my Boba Fett land speeder. And I built it kind of in anticipation for the upcoming Disney Plus series, The Book of Boba Fett, which I'm very excited for. My idea was to design a few speeders and speeder bikes that I could see potentially fitting in with the show. Um, obviously, this is not a design from Canon, although it is clearly very inspired by another well-known land speeder. But I just wanted to build a few builds that would fit into this show. So I started with this vehicle because I wanted to build something that fit in very well with the Tatooine aesthetic of land speeders, seeing as Boba Fett kind of has his base camp now in Jabba's palace on Tatooine. And so I took an obvious inspiration from Luke's land speeder with the rounded front and these three thruster engine type things in the back. We'll talk about a few of the features of this ship. Um, we'll take out the new, the newly updated Boba Fett minifigure. It's a pretty sweet figure. The helmet color could have been a little better, but um, unfortunately his jetpack does not fit in this vehicle, but still pretty sweet with the arm printing and everything. We'll set him aside here. So this speeder has room for two, has room for a pilot here and a passenger. Both get a couple of seats right here. And the pilot gets this computer panel as well as this accelerator little handle thing I have right here. And a couple of levers for other functions of the ship I haven't Thought about it that deeply, but just extra little details. Nothing in front of the passenger seat, but just a spot to fit in. If I had the Fennec Shand minifigure, I would have definitely placed her there. Uh, maybe maybe for Christmas, or maybe for one of those upcoming um, sets, I'll, I'll pick that minifigure up. Like I said... This build was inspired by Luke's land speeder, so we've got these three engines in the back. And a couple of kind of greebles up here. Give it a little bit of texture, break up that smooth surface a little bit. I, uh, I've actually built a few of these land speeders kind of for this little Boba Fett, pre-Book of Boba Fett series of videos I'm doing. And they all have kind of a, I'll take this off, I'm just using it as a stand to make it look a little more like a land speeder that hovering. So I have this kind of like big skid plate um, that it would sit down on and, you know, if it scrapes up, it's kind of this nicely armored skid plate and they I don't know I kind of like the design the tile design that I got going on there I'll put this little stand back so another feature of this ship is that there is a little secret compartment and it if you haven't guessed already is right here and this whole thing can just be opened up and we can see a few blaster rifles here. We'll kind of dump these out. There was four of them that I could fit in. Maybe I could fit another one or two, but um, I just jammed those in quickly. So just a couple of these um, gunmetal gr gray blaster rifles. Suppose we could stick um, Boba Fett's weapon in here as well. We'll clear these out of the way. And just kind of pop that back in there. Just uh, try to make it a nice kind of seamless compartment. 
And now we have these little handles to pick it up for convenience. But also, I wanted to design kind of an extra little feature, so kind of made a tiny modular type feature. So you can take this out, and actually I built a couple of guns that can just be popped in there. So now we have a little more firepower. Well, didn't have any firepower before. We have some firepower now on this Boba Fett's land speeder. And, you know, I imagine he, Boba Fett, might be a little more, uh, a little more happy with this now. Like, that it has some, some weaponry on it. But I'll take these out for now. We'll just, quick show off, you know, simple design, but fun little design for the weapons there. We'll put this back on there add a little bit more of that color back and take a little last view of things so obviously i used a lot of the snot technique for this I've done like bits and pieces of snotting techniques but this was one of my first vehicles where it's i mean it's pretty much all snot you know all up here all down through here it's all using um, the snot technique and that was an absolute blast. It's always fun to try out awesome, very good looking techniques. Um, the color scheme obviously was inspired by Boba Fett himself, but I wanted the base of it to be black, kind of like his new kind of clothing and the the gear he has underneath his armor you know as we can see here it's all black and we saw in mandalorian season two that his uh that clothing underneath is is black and the trailer for the book of boba fett showed like you know black pants black shirt so i wanted kind of the core base color of this to be black with some gray and green and maroon added on top just like the gray green and maroon of his armor are added on top of the black and i really like how it turned out it was so much fun to build i actually did build a few more land speeders and th those will i'll make videos on those and those will come out soon enough um, they're all kind of similar to this one but with a few you know, switching it up a, a little bit with, you know, colors and overall design. So yeah, I will have more Boba Fett related content soon enough, kind of getting myself ready and giving, giving everyone ready for this upcoming Book of Boba Fett. Well, just one last little look at this land speeder. And yeah, that is my Boba Fett land speeder.